Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Today I'm kind of like taking it a little bit easy today. Um, just watching Epoxy Cure and uh, so far everything is going the way that I want to. And eventually I will be sanding the radius of the neck down, knocking down the inlays that I poured, and then the headstock as well, leveling that off before I could do the finishing as far as the color and everything else I want to do on the body goes. Um have another side project that I'm looking at right now and uh, just opened up the box today to kind of get a feel of what I'm going to be doing and uh, you guys may not like it but it's the request of the owner so that's what counts not your thoughts but what he needs to have done to this thing so stay tuned because it's about to get interesting it isn't exactly what I was wanting to get initially considering my budget restraints. So Mr. 3D, I mean 3G's, got himself a Harley Benton gold top. Congratulations. Now let's see how long he keeps this thing for or how long it takes him to start chopping it up. Another question that comes to mind is, what did he do to Toman to screw them over out of this guitar? Considering he still has the bass that he never returned because there was nothing wrong with the old bass that he got from free from Toman. You know, that would have been the right thing to do was to get a hold of Toman and says, oh, I made a mistake and return the one that you stole from them, um, which you still have. Which, you know, it's not good to steal. But again, um, let's see, this is not the guitar that he wanted. So, why didn't you just save your money and buy what you wanted? It's kind of like saying, meet my wife. This is not the one that I wanted. What? What the fuck? Funny story. I bought one of my good friends for his birthday. The same exact Harley Benton Gold Top P90 guitar. Hmm. Coincidence? And we discussed upon ourselves about how you watch. Terry's going to buy the exact same one. Sure as shit. You know, it's kind of funny how Mr. 3D, I mean 3G's, keeps on having to bring up his financial problems. It's like, you know... Please help me. I have no money. This is not the guitar that I wanted. Please send me money. Which kind of reminds me of the whole thing of my friend's birthday. And the actual reason why uh, I'm pissed off and, and think Terry is a piece of shit. Uh, the wish list. You know, trying to push his wish list off on me on one of my friend's birthdays. Basically saying that, uh, you know... This is my wish list for Amazon. Uh, you were concerned about the shipping and everything else. Well, they include free shipping. More like Santa Claus, buy me something for Christmas, please. Which is funny because if you go to his wish list now, I guess Terry has a little bit of a hard time uh, growing certain things. So, all of this ungratefulness reminds me of a, another video that is up. And, you know, people judge you by your words, and they also judge you by your actions. And when the actions don't go with your words, uh, it kind of shows that, you know, you're not uh, into whatever it is that is around you, whatever it is that you've gotten. And in this video, you can see total. Not here, but see. Well, actually, there is some hearing, like the... or the actions of the hands. So pay attention and total ungratefulness. It's a... It's a tin with a wipe down cloth. Wow. 
That's awesome. Go through a bunch of other stuff here. Never been a big pins collector. Let's save those things for just a little bit after. So, we have some uh, business cards slash TL pedal sticker. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's see what else we got here. So, business card. Uh, would be a pet. It would be nice if it was a pedal. Learns hint hint. So we got some more picks. Uh, OPD pedals pick. Sun drop shape. Awesome. We have a. So I'm not going to make you watch anymore. You had to suffer through it enough. I know I had to. But for someone who kind of likes to get free stuff and always encourages to get free stuff, wasn't being really too much on the positive side throughout opening up uh, the package that he got from one of his friends. Um, you know, just the every time he looks at something or before he speaks, he's, <sighs> and then some of the actions of the hands, you know, for someone who likes free stuff, man, sure really didn't appreciate getting it, even though he says he did, but you could tell otherwise. Anyways, I do have an unboxing to do. All right, so I have an unboxing to do, like I said. Should I open up the big package first or the smaller bag first? I don't know. I can't decide. Well, let's go with the bag first. Let's open this up. See what's going on. All right, so what is, what is this? All right, so this is from the company that I ended up uh, getting that guitar from, the custom with the inlay and of the dragon and everything else. The, uh, uh, what was it called? The Starbender custom made guitar to order is what this is. This is what it's from. And uh, let's see here. I think there's a photo in here too as well. Actually looks like there is. Oh no, it's a calendar. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. How did they know? Okay, what this is, is they ended up sending me a, a free gift. Okay, and uh I, I, I don't know how to explain it. it. It's just something that these guys do, which is kind of cool, these guys. I mean, it's pretty pretty neat. This is a Iron Maiden calendar, and uh, it's got all the highlighted of what the um, holidays and stuff are. It's Iron Maiden, too. <laughs> how did he know? I don't know. And then here we have a little bit of a gift bag here. Okay. So they're saying that my guitar... Uh, customs or carrier delays, uh, your guitar uh, is due to arrive between 422 and 517 of 21. That's awesome. That is awesome. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see what we got here. They sent me a bunch of other stuff. So we have here... Ooh, ah, I can smell the candy that's inside here. That I'll probably give to my daughter. I'm not much of a candy guy, but I'll give that to my daughter. She'll enjoy that. So we have some... What's this? What are these? Oh, earplugs. <laughs> I guess I know how I play guitar. <laughs> I might need those, right? Yeah, I might have the mint, though. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a volume knob, and it's got a magnet in it. So something here. Oh, what's this? The Dario electric guitar strings they sent me. This is neat. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. What size are they? I can still smell that candy. So these are tens of 46s. How do they know? And then I got a one of these little guitar pick holders, which is kind of nice too. That's really interesting though. I like that. It's a magnet. Huh. So let's stick it on the guitar strings. Don't fall off. That is fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is kind of sweet too. Mixed inside the candy was an Iron Maiden pick, an ACDC pick, and one of the picks that I used, the green one, I used those. Pretty fucking awesome, man. Nice. Oh, that sounds heavy. Time to do some chopping. What? There you go. Let's see here which side opens. This side opens. I wonder if this is... It's got to be the tool that I ordered, no? Maybe. Why did I close this? There's still some more opening. Let's see here. Is this the tool that I ordered? Oh shit, yeah. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. It also comes with some of these inserts too, right? Yep. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so what this is, all right, I told you guys that I ended up ordering a uh, a fret, a fret press. And this is one of the fret presses that came in, which is, from what I've read about this thing, it actually works pretty damn well. The only problem with it is on a Les Paul, it may not work very well. I'm not too sure. That's why I ended up ordering the one that is for a drill press. So these are like channel locks, okay? You end up putting in this piece here, and there's a pin that is somewhere there's a pin. Hello. All right, the pin is right here. That's what I thought. You got a pin and Allen key, and uh, what you do is you block this in with the pin. It lines up underneath the either the neck. You have one that's shaped for the neck. You have one that's flat. You put the insert for the right size fret inside of here. Lock it down, and you end up adjusting this to close on the fret. Close on the fretboard to where it pushes it in, but stops at a certain spot so you don't over compress it in there. That's going to work out pretty good for a lot of different necks. I got one more coming plus the fret hammer. So this is pretty cool. And then I have a project here. This here is dried epoxy resin. The only thing though is I should have put a wax inside of the Tupperware bowl. That way I can get the dried epoxy resin out, plus this glows in the dark. So what I was thinking about doing is just cutting this and separating it from the resin, getting the piece of resin out and cutting some type of a shape or design out of the resin, polishing it up and turning it into some type of a, a charm. So that'll work. Cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry you had to go through the other bullshit. And for some of you guys out there who sit there and say, why do you waste your time on, on talking about that guy? Well, because the guy is a dumbass and he keeps opening up his mouth about shit. And the shit that he opens up his mouth with is kind of about me. And I kind of get flashback from other people about what's been going on and what's been said. And you know, the more he talks shit, the more did I got him. All right. Take it easy, everyone.